Hello and welcome to Ukramedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today's daily tip is how to auto fade in and out based on layer in and out points. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so here we are in After Effects and this is what we'll be creating. So right now I have this logo right here and it fades in based on in and out points of my layer. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So right when I pass my in point in here, it fades in and then right before I reach the end point, it fades out. So it doesn't matter where you place your in point or out point, it's going to do the exact same thing. As you can see, fades in and fades out. Now let me show you how to set this up using expressions. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is select my logo in here and then hit T to reveal the opacity. And as you can see, it is lit up in red, which means I do have an expression applied. So I'm going to alt click to get rid of it and I'll click on the stopwatch again to create a new one. And so in here, I'm going to go to expression helper, interpolation, and I'm going to select this linear expression. And so where it says T, I'm going to say time. So I'm going to refer to the time in my timeline from, you know, from zero to whatever. And then it, right here, it's basically, this is how it works. Here's the starting time, ending time. And at the starting time, it's going to give me this value. And at the ending time, it's going to give me this value. For the starting time, I want it to be this. So I'm going to say endpoint. And when you type endpoint, what it really does, it gives me the endpoint of my layer right here. So that's going to be the starting time. So at the starting time, I want it to be zero. And then at endpoint plus something. So I want it to, at around here somewhere, I want it to be 100%. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to say endpoint. So I'm going to call this endpoint. And I'm going to add some seconds to it. So I'm going to say plus 0.5. So half a second. So at about right here is going to be 100%. So I'm going to say 100. So let's see if that works. So at endpoint, it's zero. And half a second in, it's going to be 100%. So that's working and it doesn't matter where you put the endpoint. So it's working quite well. But the only problem, how do we fade this out? So let me show you how to do that. So we, we've done this. Let's define this expression as fade in. So I'm just giving it a random name. Next, I'm going to select this expression and then control C to copy and then control V to paste. And instead of in, I'm going to label the second one out. So we're going to be talking about the fade out. We want to have the starting time and ending time. So we want to start about here to start fading out. So I'm going to do this. Instead of in point, I'm going to say out point. So it's calling this out point right here. And I'm going to subtract 0.5. So I'm going to go down this way to the left. So I'm going to say out point and then minus 0.5. So that's going to be my starting point. And then it's going to go to out point. So instead of 0.5 right here, I'm going to get rid of it. I'm not going to add any seconds to it. I'm going to say strictly out point. So from the out point minus 0.5, it's going to go from 0 to 100. So that's exactly what, we're, what I'm doing here. Now let's combine these two. So I'm going to go in the next line, I'm going to say fade in minus fade out. And let's see if this works. So right now it's 100% and then it's going to start subtracting from 0 to 100. So right now it's 100%, so it's starting to subtract. And that's why it goes to 0. Now, again, you can move this anywhere you want to and it's still going to work. So next, I'm going to clean this up. Right now, instead of having 0.5 in each line right here, I'm just going to create one variable that's going to call for both of them. So let me show you how to do that. So I'm going to enter here and then place a variable in here. So I'm going to say fade duration. And I'm going to say you're going to be 0.5 seconds. And so instead of having 0.5 here, I'm just going to copy and paste that in there. And now you can see that it's still working and it just looks a bit more clean. All right. Thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like the video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. And if you would like to have the project file of this tutorial, you can download it at ukramedia.com slash tip 29. And I'll include the link at the bottom of this video as well. But until next time, my name is Sergey Proknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.